Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Maestro Show. Now, this is a special case study that I'm really, really excited about. As you know, we always talk about the best strategies to get you more members to your core sites. And so this is going to be a really, really special presentation. Today I have on the show with me none other than the amazing uh, Ron Douglas, who's a really good friend of mine. Now, before he comes on, I want to introduce him. He deserves a really great uh, intro, by the way. So I'm going to give him a proper introduction. But he actually is a New York Times bestselling author. He's made millions of dollars online. And that's why I wanted to bring you this case study to show you how you can grow your business as well. He also has you know, thousands and thousands of members in his different uh, online courses. He sold so many products and services online. And he's also helped many, many people with their online courses as well. So welcome to the show, Mr. Ron Douglas. Hey, Justin, thanks for having me. Great to be here. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So this is going to be like a freestyle, guys. This doesn't have really like a, a specific format, but what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about, you know, if, if Ron, if you want to start off with talking about, you know, how you got started and kind of what led you to, you know, this world of uh, online courses. Well, I, I got started back in 2001, which is like the prehistoric age when it comes to the internet, right? So what, what led me to it was uh, just searching for a way to leave my job on, on Wall Street. I hated it there and just wanted to have freedom and wanted to freedom and flexibility and wanted to spend more time with my family and my kids. So I was really searching for another way. And I had always been an entrepreneur at heart. You know, I was kind of like a fish out of water in the corporate world. So I kind of um, stumbled upon online marketing and information marketing and email list building, especially back in uh, 2001. Yeah, so so that's that's interesting. So you you kind of just, you know, you didn't really know anybody. You just kind of decided, you know, how, like what made you transition? Because I know if you want to kind of get into, you know, your books and, you know, you were in the cooking industry, right? So if you want to kind of talk a little bit about that and then, you know, how did you transition from cooking to what you're doing now, which is kind of online courses? Right. Well, I got started a friend of mine that I went to grad school with. I was going for my MBA while I was working with J.P. Morgan Chase. And uh, he got a job doing direct marketing for a company. Pretty much he was just kind of sending spam emails. He was like their head of spam. But, but back in like 2000, you know, people were doing that. Commercial emails were not really frowned upon like they are now. So he kind of introduced me to email marketing and being able to uh, make money online and just using the internet as your your salesperson, right? 24 hour a day global salesperson. And I really love that concept because I was awful at sales. Like I've tried many different like MLM programs and different things <laughs> I got involved with and I couldn't sell like face to face. I sucked at sales. Couldn't even sell my grandmother on, um, <laughs> on, on, I was trying to get her to change her long distance service to some MLM. I was anyway, long story short, uh, he introduced me to email marketing and, what he was doing. And I was like, well, this would be really cool if people actually wanted to receive your, your emails. So <laughs> I kind of, instead of being a spammer, I kind of set out to build a real email list and build a following online back in 2001. And I started out uh, just selling make money online top, type stuff because that's what I was really studying. So I figured I'd try to sell what I was studying. And I was a virtual nobody back then, so that didn't really go well. I mean, I made a little bit of money, but nothing serious. And then I said, well, i got to find a niche that I could kind of, you know, make a splash in and and I could create a product in. And cooking was, was one of my hobbies, especially in college. I used to bring girls by the dorm room and, and cook them stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I used to try to get in good with them. So... Um, <laughs> I was uh, looking for a product to sell and I found the a cooking niche and one of the sub niches within that, that marketplace was restaurant recipes, right? So I looked at a big marketplace and I found a niche within that marketplace. So instead of just generic cooking, I got involved with uh, restaurant recipes, copycat recipes. And that was kind of like my big thing. Ended up uh, getting a book deal with Simon & Schuster, ended up selling over 1.5 million books I've done six books with Simon & Schuster. I built a huge uh, community in that niche. 
and I have a membership site in that niche as well. So trans kind of trans transferring that to becoming a, a owner of a membership site was really just logical, right? It's like you have all these customers instead of trying to get new customers, which is really difficult. How do you make more money from the existing com- customers? How do you add more value and offer things that they want to keep paying for and build communities and, you know, just have value going on because they're going to spend money anyway, right? They're going to spend from your competitors. So you got to keep offering them something they can keep paying you for instead, especially if you have something valuable to offer. So uh, that was like my first membership site was a uh, cookbook of the week club. We would send digital cooking eBooks each week to uh to our subscribers twenty dollars a month and then i that that went well and i started getting into doing other membership sites as well based on stuff that i knew how to do yeah yeah it's interesting what you said is uh people are gonna spend money anyway right they might as well spend it with you <laughs> I, 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 like, yeah. I like i like that saying right so um so i guess that the next thing let's back up just a second um which is you know somebody like listening to this most people who are kind of listening to this, they kind of want to ramp up. They want to get started. Um, you know, when you kind of got started, you didn't really know anybody. You kind of just got into this whole online space. You know, you sold a bunch of books. How is it that, you know, like somebody who's just getting started, what are some strategies that you can share uh, in them kind of ramping up and getting customers into their online courses? Right. Well, if you don't know anybody, you want to get to know people, right? You want to network. You want to attend events. You want to join masterminds. You want to join groups on Facebook. You want to reach out and get to know people. Because really the easiest way to do marketing online and get traffic is obviously to get other people that are in your market to recommend you, to endorse your program, your product, your free trial or whatever you're offering to get people into your membership. That's easy money, right? You don't have to really go out, pay for traffic. If you know people and they know you're willing to reciprocate eventually, you know, and and they feel like, you know, you offer something good, you can get them to promote it and offer them a commission. I believe uh, Maestro has an affiliate program built in where people can offer other, other sites, other blogs, other email newsletters, other publishers, a uh, percentage of sales by referring people. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and that's one of the, I think that's one of the reasons why I want to bring you on, Ron, because you've been able to build a really, really huge sort of following and also, you know, become the go-to guy in your industry because of the fact that you came in you started networking and you've built this business mainly on, you know, affiliate marketing. So a lot of people think they got to come in they got to spend money on traffic and they got to do all this stuff, but really the way that you've built your business is affiliate marketing, which you're right, you know, shameless plug, right? Maestro has an affiliate program built in, but kind of talk a little bit more about like, you know, I guess some other than just networking, like how does the kind of affiliate model work and how have you been able to make it work in your business? Right, well, the affiliate model is you compensate people for sending you sales and you only pay them it's done automatically through the internet, through Maestro, through PayPal, or whatever you're, you're, uh, you're using for payments. And it's done automatically. So the payment, when the payment comes in, is split between you know the, the, vend- the person that recommended you, the affiliate that recommended your, your product gets a commission, and then you get the balance, and then the customer gets their product. That's the beauty of digital products is they're virtually 100% profit. So you know if you have a $50 product, it doesn't cost you anything to give someone a username and password to access it, right? So the customer delivery and fulfillment and the actual product itself is virtually, you know, free for you to deliver. So if you have a $50 sale, you can give somebody $25 out of that. So it's just a matter of finding the affiliates, finding the people, networking with the people who have your desired audience, and you want to put out content and show that you know your stuff, right? That's information marketing. You want to give results to people in advance. You want to give out content, establish your expertise, uh, you know, help people in advance. You know, it helps also if you can promote somebody else's product and then follow up with them and, and get to know them that way. I've met a lot of people just by saying, hey, I promoted your product. It's converting well for us. Just wanted to introduce myself, you know, that type of thing. 
So you want to focus on, that's what having an email list is for, being able to reciprocate, having that email list. So you want to set up your offer where you can do paid traffic as well to, to build your list or, you know, as many ways you can go about building that email list and building that audience and getting new customers in. But it's just a matter of applying what's already out there, right? Applying yourself, applying the knowledge that that is out there. And it's a good part, a good reason that, um, you know, people should listen to all these training and tutorials that you're doing along with Maestro to uh, train people on how to do that. But I'll give you one way, one way you can do it. So say you have a course on, you know, how to improve your golf swing, right? Just to throw the first thing out that came to mind. You can write up a bunch of really good articles, do a bunch of really good vid- videos, and then approach someone who has a big Facebook page on golfing and say, listen, I have some really good content that your audience is going to like. You know, people really like this content. It's quality stuff. And I know, you know, everybody has to keep creating content for their audience. Well, I'll give you this content you can use for free. You know, no copyright. You could just straight use it. And in addition to being able to use this content, you'll be able to earn a commission from it because there's a link at the bottom of each article that links to my membership site trial. And then whenever someone clicks that link, that'll be your affiliate link. And if they sign up for the trial, you'll get a commission from it. Right. So that's all about creating a win win offer. Right. You're reaching out to people, you're offering them something. And then in turn, they're willing to use your content, promote your your membership. Wow. That's that's a good strategy. You bring in the heat, brother. (laughs) (laughs) That's 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 really good good stuff. Um, So, uh, well, listen, you know, this is definitely something I wanted to, you know, bring you on and talk about. Uh, talk about some of the uh, numbers, you know, and just the strategies that you've been able to do. So I guess really briefly, uh, you know, tell people how they can find out about you, you know, where they can, you know, find out more information and start following you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you like what I just said, I teach a lot of different strategies like that. You know, I teach uh, Facebook ad strategies. I teach strategies for writers who want to monetize their business. I have a bunch of different programs. But I guess the main place you can find me is just on rondouglas.com, uh, rondouglas.com, my name. Or you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash like Ron Douglas, one S. Awesome stuff. Well, listen, Ron, thanks for coming on. And as usual, guys, we're going to be bringing you these really awesome tips and amazing strategies from masters like Ron Douglas and if you're, you know, if you're listening to this, you're probably in our show or you're on a free trial. And if you haven't yet, make sure you go to maestro.com, sign up for a 14 day free trial. And if you're in your trial, what are you waiting for? Make sure you upgrade so you can start to apply these strategies and start to make money and grow your business with Maestro. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next show. Thanks so much for listening. We'll talk to you guys soon.